ProDat Stabilization Plugin Mercalli is updated to version 4. Version 4 contains new stabilization and CMOS correction technology. The plugin now supports 10 bit color space within ADIUS 8. Mercalli 4 uses the power of the GPU in your system to speed up processing. Multi core CPU and multi threading support have been improved. This means that you will get faster rendering times in ADIUS 8. Why should you get Mercalli 4 if you have version 2? Here is a short list of features which are added in version 4. CMOS correction for skew, wobble and jello, improved stabilization, optical warp image stabilization. This means that fisheye distortions have no negative effect on the stabilization process. New presets for specific action cameras like the GoPro, dynamic zoom reduction and improved border adjustments. There are many situations where recorded footage is not as smooth as you want it to be. For example, when using a quadcopter, shooting out of a boat or a car. Mercalli 4 has the tools to make your footage stable. Let's look how to use Mercalli in Adius. After you have installed Mercalli 4, you will see the native plugin in the Adius effects palette. In the ProDat folder, you will see the entries for ProDat CMOS Fixer and ProDat Mercalli 4. I have a clip on the timeline which is very unstable. This shot is handheld. I apply Mercalli to the clip. You can do it in a few different ways. By dragging it on the clip, dragging it to the information palette, or while having the clip selected, go into the effects palette, selecting Mercalli 4, right clicking and choosing add to timeline. When Mercalli is applied, you will see the effects indicator line which is orange on the clip. In the recorder window, you will see a Mercalli overlay which tells you that you need to press the analyze button. If you go to the information palette, you will not see an analyze button and that may be confusing at first. What you should do is open the Mercalli plugin to control what the plugin does. This is the graphical user interface of Mercalli 4. It is really user friendly because the technology behind Mercalli 4 is able to get you a decent correction without much user intervention. It does, however, give you finer control for those really difficult shots which require a bit more input. We will get to those controls later in the tutorial. At the top of the screen, you see the version number. As you can see, I'm using Mercalli Build 466. The question mark on top is to give you access to the manual of Mercalli 4. The question mark after the Mercalli 4 logo gives you two options, About and Help. If you click About, you will get an information palette from which you can visit the ProDat website and check for any updates. My version is the latest, but if there was an update, I would get the notification and I would be given the possibility to download it. Help opens the manual. In the camera drop-down, you can select different camera presets which work with settings dialed in by the ProDet engineers. In the used optic, you can tell Mercalli 4 if the lens you used was a lens with or without fisheye or if you had one of the specific camcorders which is listed. We will use one of those later in the tutorial. For now, we will leave it on without fisheye because this footage is from a Sony NX3. The view menu is better explained after I've done the analysis. The avoid border setting is actually self-explaining. This setting is to avoid borders around your video frame when Mercalli has to do scaling to stabilize the footage. Version 4 does a pretty good job with dynamic scaling. For the first example, we will leave everything in default mode. I press the Analyze button. You'll see the Analysis Information window with feedback of the process. After the analysis is done, you can play back the processed footage. Depending on your system, the footage with correction may or may not play real-time. 
when the system cannot play back the piece in real time, the line above the clip will change from orange to red. When this happens, first try the following. Open the Mercalli 4 dialog and click on Enlarge. The Enlarge tick box does the same as the further settings in version 2. Check in the middle column and enable hardware acceleration. Depending on your system, you may get real-time playback. If not, you have to render. At this stage, I suggest you render the piece with Shift and G. The reason I specifically recommend Shift and G at this stage is that if you want to adjust something in the settings of the stabilizer plugin, you don't have to delete the rendered clip, which you would get if you would use Shift plus Q. As I mentioned earlier, the view menu makes more sense after analysis, so let's look at it now. The view mode is on view result, but this can be changed to compare with the original clip, either horizontal or vertical, but you can also view the source at full screen. Underneath the view mode, you have remap. You can select cubic, linear, and nearest neighbor. Cubic gives you the best quality stabilization ratio, but this is the most intensive way of correction. Linear is the balanced way between quality and speed. Nearest is the quickest way, but it does not consider subpixels when processing. With chart, you can see the different corrections, and you can use it to get visual feedback when making adjustments. Remember to turn off charts before going back to EDIUS to render. If not, the chart will show up in your final render or export. Avoid border is a control to avoid border around the video frame if the footage needs to be scaled for stabilization. Let's have a look at what it actually does. I'll use a different clip. The footage is from a P2 camera and it's AVC Intra 10-bit. This time I'll choose Rocksteady camera. After the analysis, depending on your footage you can see a strange reflection around the video frame. Let me show you why this is happening and what you can do to correct this if you don't want this to happen. The sort of reflection around the frame is the film Mercalli does when it needs to zoom or position the frame for best stabilization. I'll go to the border in a third palette and deselect video color filling. Now we can see what Mercalli does to give me the best stabilization. We see a black border moving on the edges of the frame, but the footage is very stable. This is not what most of us would like to see. If you choose avoid border, Mercalli will make automatic adjustments so you get full frame material. It is also possible to do manual adjustments. Less zoom means less stable footage and more stable footage means more zoom. The default depends on the camera stabilization setting you choose. The defaults are usually fine, but in most cases, you can get very good results even if you lower the value. Start with the default and then lower the percentage while keeping an eye on the borders of the clip. In the border setting, you can adjust edges to best border, best stabilization or forensic view. When a void border is selected, the setting will switch to best border. If you choose best stabilization, the avoid border gets deactivated. This does not mean that you cannot use best stabilization if you want to avoid a border. It's a little bit more work, of course. You can use the pen and scale to adjust the frame so we don't see any border.
If you have a set of clips that require Mercalli stabilization, there's a nice way to do it. What you do is the following. Put the clips on the timeline. Apply Mercalli to one of the clips and choose the settings you like. Mercalli will remember those settings. Delete Mercalli from the clip. Select all the clips and apply Mercalli. Then go to the Adias Tools menu. You will see an entry Mercalli Batch Analysis. Once you click it, the batch kicks in. Mercalli will analyze all the clips. You can see the total of clips it has to analyze. Just let Mercalli do its thing. If you have many clips, you can set it up overnight and have them ready in the morning. The CMOS fixer, which is included in Mercalli 4, can help you with a correction of wobble, shake and vibration. Wobble and shake can make stabilization difficult. Let's look at this shot. It has a lot of vibration, shake and a bit of wobble. It's footage from a GoPro Hero 3 Black 2.7K at 30p. Prodet recommends that you convert footage which is in the MP4 format to Grass Valley HQ or HQX. This will get you faster processing results. If you have many clips in the MP4 format, you can do a batch convert in the bin. I apply the CMOS fixer to this clip. Make sure you drag it above the layouter in the information palette. This is the CMOS fixer GUI. Here you can see two presets which have settings dialed in by the ProDead engineers. I'll choose precise. In this preset, the method is Wobble Vibration Precise GPU. A void border is in paint in the CMOS fixer. This means that if any zooming needs to be done, you will see a border from copied pixels in the region of the border. You do have the option to choose what happens with the processing of the border region. It is basically the same as Mercalli, so I won't go in details here. The sensor speed is very important for the adjustment of the CMOS fixer. You have to let the CMOS fixer run an analysis on the footage. When it is completed, the analysis will give you an estimated sensor speed number. The sensor speed percentage determines how much correction is applied. If you see any artifacts, you can lower that percentage. This looks very good. Mercalli 4 and the CMOS corrector are very powerful tools to have in your bag of tricks.